Hi, I'm Nancy Drew. Since you can tell a lot about a person by where he or she lives, I thought I'd introduce myself by showing you my room. As you can see, I keep it pretty neat. Of course, I don't spend that much time in here. I always seem to be off solving mysteries. Anyway, here's my center of operations, my desk. Go ahead and poke around. If you want to know the particulars of how I do what I do, take a look at the book titled How to Be a Detective. It's real helpful, especially if you're new to the mystery solving business. And be sure to check out my scrapbook. I put memorabilia from all my past cases in there. A lot of them were pretty dangerous and at times really scary. But don't say anything about that to my dad, okay? He worries about me enough as it is. And whatever you do, read what's in the file called Case File. That will tell you all about the mystery I'm about to try to solve. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. When Chantal told me you were just a young thing, well, I thought she was pulling my leg. But you're not much older than my little girl, Freddie. Well, if one of the people at the lodge is to blame for all those accidents, Chantal thinks somebody like me has a better chance of figuring out who it is than somebody more, you know, hard-nosed. Chantal has a bad habit of making up her mind without thinking things clear through. Uh, no need for you to tell her I said that, of course. Is she still in Edmonton? Afraid so. Insurance company's giving her and her lawyers a real hard time. Left Ron and the Lodge up to me. Which is why I'm not real crazy about the idea of having somebody new underfoot. Especially if something else happens. I won't be underfoot, Mr. Randall. And I may be young, but I'm no novice when it comes to solving mysteries. We're here, so you'll get to prove yourself soon enough. <laughs> you hear that? Well, now, what was that? Was anyone in the bunkhouse when it exploded? No, ma'am. Uh, everyone here at the lodge is accounted for. Oh, that's where Elsa and Becky had been living. Guess it was a good thing they quit after all. Elsa was my maid and Becky was my cook. Does the sheriff have any idea why the bunkhouse exploded? He said he'd know more after the lab was done running tests on the debris he'd collected. He did say the blast was pretty powerful. One of his deputies found the knob to the back door clear out on the highway. Oh, that does it. Nancy, you have to find out who or what is behind these incidents, and you have to do it fast. You sure you don't want to give your daddy a call? My dad runs a whole chain of resorts, Ollie. If you think I'm going to admit to him that I can't handle running just one, guess again. Besides, Nancy comes highly recommended, and I'm sure she's got a foolproof plan for getting to the bottom of this. Don't you, Nancy? Well, I was thinking that maybe I'd just be your new maid. You want to be my maid? That would give me access to everyone's room, and I could question people without making them overly suspicious. Oh, yeah! That's an excellent idea! All right, you're my new maid. In fact, you're my new cook, too. Your cook? Well, that way, Ollie can stop pretending he can even read a recipe, let alone follow one. You'll have even more excuses to talk to the guests, and I won't have to pay anyone. Why, well, I think that's a fine idea, ma'am. Now, we're not taking any more guests until this accident thing is cleared up, so I want both of you to make sure that the four guests we have are well taken care of. Especially that Olympic-caliber cross-country skier from Fredonia, Yanni Volstaya. The flair he brings to the lodge is just what I need to attract the European jet-setting crowd. I'm gonna be pretty busy trying to get rid of that wolf, Chantal. We heard it howl last night, just before the bunkhouse blew up. Well, do whatever you have to, Ollie. Oh, and Nancy? I want you to call this police detective I've hired as a consultant. I put his number on the phone there at the lodge. In fact, I think you know him. Tino Balducci? I gotta go. My lawyer's here. Good luck, you guys, and keep me posted. Coming! T. 
Chino Balducci. I'll get you a master key and leave it in your room. If you need anything else, I'll be in the basement. This must be the key Ollie said he'd leave for me. And this must be a list of which guest is in what room. That'll come in handy. Skating pond maintenance. Oh, looks like I'm going to be doing a little bit of everything while I'm here. Report all avalanches to the avalanche patrol. I shouldn't open this door unless I absolutely have to. Contents deleted. Wonder why? This must be where I drop the laundry bag after I'm done cleaning all the rooms.
looks like Elsa was having major boyfriend problems. I'm not sure helped is the right word, Mr. Balducci. Please, call me Tino. In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. Hey, that's all behind me. Ancient history. Water under the bridge. So, looks like we're gonna be working together on this sabotage thing, huh? Looks like. Well, you'll be happy to know that I'm working on something that'll pretty much crack this case wide open. But in the meantime, what can I do you for? I'm curious. How do you know Chantal? Friend of a friend heard about all the problems she was having up there and immediately figured she could use my crime-solving expertise. So I gave her a call, we had lunch, we hit it off, and bingo. I got myself a new client. How many clients do you have? I have enough. I mean, you know, you go spreading yourself too thin in this business, and the next thing you know, crime out the wazoo. I'd better go. Don't be a stranger. 